The simplest way to contribute a translation to the microbit.org website is to use the built-in page translate function. To do this, head to microbit.org forward slash page hyphen translate. The translation service we use is called Crowdin. So if you are not signed in already, you will be asked to sign in or register an account. When you're logged in, the page will reload with the Crowdin translations view enabled. Every string or word that can be translated has a red border around it. Strings that have been translated but unapproved have a blue border. And strings that have been translated and approved by a proofreader have a green border. To edit a string, click on the pencil icon next to that string uh, to open the edit window. You'll see the current translation and any automatic or machine translations from Crowdin and su uh, suggestions on how the string has been translated in other languages. The ones that have a tick are the approved translations. Enter the translation manually or choose the save button on the auto translation. So I'm going to choose my auto translation there. This can then be verified by a proofreader. The context menu lists all available strings on that page and lets you search by string. Some strings have tags around them, so if you see a string like this, it is possible to change the order of the words as long as the tags remain around the same words. Some pages have not yet been added to the Crowdin project, so if you navigate to a page such as Lessons that isn't currently there, you'll see the URL updates and it is no longer within the Page Translate context. Clicking back will take you back to Page Translate. Uh, you can tell that a page is translatable as it will have Page Translate in the URL. So if I head to Projects, for example, the Page Translate uh, URL still follows me there. And if I click on Explore Activities, I still get the Page Translate context following me.